have you heard about conference league before? Well, it is the very first season of it and the qualifications are still going on. We are at round three now and the Hungarian team plays in it. There is only one team left in the conference league qualification except Ferenc Varos, who is in the, in the Champions League qualification. So it's a higher level, two levels higher because conference league is going to be the third tier of European club football. And the team which is going to look forward to qualify for the Conference League is Uipest FC. Uipest FC is located in the fourth district of Budapest and they are the main rivals of Ferenc Varos. Yes, today I'm about to go in the home sector of our eternal rivals. Doesn't sound really good, does it? But it's still culture and, and they have a big culture, I never doubted that. Their color is purple and white, so in the Budapest Derby is about green and white facing purple and white. But now back to Uipest because they are playing today and they are playing FC Basel from Switzerland. Uipest, which means New Pest because Ui is new in Hungarian. So Uipest was established in 1885 and that gives them the title for uh, being the oldest Hungarian club which is still working today. They have a stadium with a capacity of 14,817 people. The name of the stadium is Susa Ferenc Stadium. Susa Ferenc in Hungarian or Ferenc Susa in English. He was a legend of Uipest. He played only for Uipest. Let's just see some facts about him. The fans of Uipest FC are facing a uh, really bad issue nowadays because of a logo debate, a legal logo debate. They don't have a normal logo on their shirt right now because their owner, who is from Belgium, he just switched it because the original sports club is wearing the, the original logo and they just didn't have the authority to, to use it and there was some debate. So now all the Wipesh fans wants to, uh, want their president out and they boycott the games. So no ultras today at all. I'm going to show you now the symbol system of the traditional logo and just put the other logo next to it so that you can see what they wear now. It looks really strange and it doesn't symbolize anything. You just saw it. Wupesh won the Hungarian League 20 times, so they just about deserved the second star. They have the, those two stars above their logo. And let's talk a bit about FC Basel. FC Basel was established in 1893, so it's also a big old traditional club. They also won 20 times the, the Swiss League. And while Uipest is here in the Conference League qualification stage because of winning the Hungarian Cup last year, Basel is here because finishing second in the Swiss First Division. Facts enough, let's see some action. I'm gonna just take the... Oh no, I probably get slapped in the face if I take this one with me. So uh, <laughs> let's go without it. Now this sign exactly says that I'm really near to the stadium. One minute and I'm there. Most of the fans are already inside, I think, but it's not gonna be uh, an as popular game as for example, the other one, Ferenc Varos against Slavia. So, half house maybe, or about 7,000 people, that's my guess, but, but maybe less. Now we're inside in all purple. Well, I was saying too many, really too many with the 7,000. It really looks like a regular uh, league game and, and not like FC Basel is visiting. But maybe some others are going to come as kickoff approaches, but really few people. And the sector that is an away sector, away supporters aren't allowed yet in the UEFA games. And this is where the ultras used to sit. It's also empty now. So we'll see. I hope the game quality at least is going to be great.
what I didn't tell you so far is that although I don't support them, of course, it will be so good for Hungarian football if they if they won because of coefficient points. Coefficient points are good for uh, making a league ranking, how good the, the first native division is. And uh, that's why you have to always start from, from the bottom of the, the qualification, the first round. Yeah, because we have low coefficient. So, uh, and by winning we get points. Approaching soon, while Basel is the most stronger side on paper, but there is nowhere to be seen so far actually. Now they get a free kick from a quite dangerous position, but Upesh had the bigger chances so far, so that's quite surprising. And they would have already deserved a goal, to be honest. We'll see what the second half brings. There are quite many actions, uh, but mainly because of defensive mistakes. So uh, also the free kick uh, of Baza was quite close and they were working out some other chances. But we had bigger chances and there was some fan next to me who was saying that was the, the post was literally that the game, the ball came out of the post that was literally against the law of physics. So that was, that was a really uh, unique approach. But yeah, everybody already saw that ball in. So the second half is about to start. Let's see what it brings. First big chance of the second half for Baza. Goal line clearance we just saw there. Now Basel is starting to put the pressure really massively. Yeah, well, what to say about that? The defender of Fuka just headed back into the penalty area. It was, <laughs> it was an open goal for the striker. 2,367, that's the official number of people who were visiting the game today. So yeah, not quite 7,000. And now a counter possibility for Baza. Free ball. What a free ball it was. No side there, no side there. And a great clean tackle at the end. The game is starting to be heated up. Oh, 
Basel was in the game, also going on the other side, but Basel is much better in the second half. Wow, they were really close. Just past the post, as a FIFA commentator would say. Yes, Basel made the pressure come by now and they lead away. They're in a really good position now. And to be honest, when we, we see the picture of the second half, they also deserted. Yeah, now we can see that Baza woke up there, just knocking the ball about really confidently. Three minutes of additional time. Wow. Well, that's the time we push has to equalize or maybe Basel to pull two ahead. They would be comfortable for the second game if, if they would do that. 2-1 and away victory for Basel. This goes to Switzerland. They travel to Switzerland next week. And a really, really difficult task to turn this around. And to be honest, they made it for themselves because they had their game in, in their hands. They were playing better in the first half. But at the end, uh, the difference in the quality of play and knowledge just just came out. So 2-1 for Basel. So a uh, game where there were many, many empty seats in the stadium. There wasn't any organized support. And the final result of 1-2. Basel won 2-1. And they scored both goals from two meters, literally two meters away from the goal. So like, how can you allow defensive mistakes like that in professional football? If we compare to that, what we thought before the game, what the result is going to be, I think everybody would have guessed for a bigger victory for Basel. But if you look at the display, Lubesh could have been really better day. They could have get at least a point of it or well, it's, it's knockout. So we don't get points, but at least a draw. That's what I meant. But this Basel is, is not good either compared to what we, for example, saw in 2017 when they finished second in their Champions League group, beating Manchester United at home. So times change. It's uh, it's really different to that. That was it for today. I hope you liked my second episode of Local Football Culture. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And see you. Bye. Until the next time.